then it starts recording. Okay. All right. To stop it, you do this. <laughs> And then you see the red light flashing. Yeah. So that means we're doing it now. Yeah, and you can get ready to start. I can edit it if you don't like the way you start. Just stop and then start all over okay. again. Okay. Good morning, everyone. We're going to get started here. I am making today a sausage crustless quiche. Me and Daryl have been trying to diet, and so we're cutting out carbs, and I found this recipe, so we're going to make this this morning. We'll walk you through the ingredients. We have six eggs that I'm going to whisk. I'm adding two portobello mushrooms, a little green onion, some onion to fry with my Jimmy Dean hot sausage that I'm fixing to put in the pot. We have two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. We have a cup of cheddar cheese, and we have a cup of heavy whipping cream and with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna put this in the pot and come back and show you what I'm doing, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, I put my sausage and my onion in the pot and I'm going to go ahead and brown this up and um, come back to you as soon as I get through doing that. I think everybody really knows how to brown some Jimmy Dean hot sausage. You don't have to use a hot sausage if you don't want anything hot. You can actually use the mild or you know whichever one you care to use. Um, we enjoy this one. We had made this last weekend and this recipe was really a good recipe with you know, without the crust and everything, it came out wonderful. So that's why I wanted to show, show it to y'all this morning. So I'm just going to brown this up and I'll come back to you in just a second and let you see what we're going to do next. Stay tuned. Okay, I have browned my Jimmy Dean hot sausage and drained it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk together my eggs. And I also have forgot to tell you, you do have to spray your own um, pan. Just go ahead and spray with a little bit of pan, canola, or whatever it is, so that it won't stick because it is, you know, crustless. So you'll have to do something with it. I'm going to add the cream. And then I'm going to add everything else in here, which is my two portobello mushrooms. I just did probably three stalks of the green onion and some mushrooms. I'm hoping this is all going to fit in that pan. Because I didn't do the mushrooms and stuff last time when I did it. So, we'll see. We may have to adjust things. Now, all, all I did was put all this together, and I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. And I'm going to put it in my pan. I'm going to bake it on 350 for 45 minutes. And when I come back to you, I'm going to show you what it looks like after I get it in the oven. I'm cooking it in the convection oven today, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. But I'm just going to preset my convection oven, let it do its thing, and I'm going to stick it in and let it cook. I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to hit my convection with 375, and I'm going to start it. And when it beeps, it's going to be ready. So that's it for, for right now. And I'll show you in a little while what it looks like. It is so good. Thanks for watching. If you like this, comment, like, share, subscribe, <laughs> all the above. <laughs> Have a good day, y'all. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, I mixed everything together. Now I added my brown, my, sa my uh, sausage that's been browned in here with my onions. And like I said, the sausage was drained. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour this into my greased pan and hope that it fits. And it does, yay. Barely, but it does. Hmm. Alrighty, and I will come back to you as soon as it's done. Okay guys, I just took it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. I really could have gone about 40 minutes, so, but it's, it's gonna be perfect. That is the final result. After I cut it, after it sits a little while, I'll show you when we slice it up and put it on our plate. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's already it's cooled, and I've cut a slice. And see, it's really pretty. It looks good, too. 
I think I'm going to like it with the um, mushrooms in it. So this is it. I'll put the recipe, the link to it, underneath. And if you like it, you can go ahead and try it. Let me know what you think about it. And have a great day. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.